What up? What is going on, everybody? We're just getting some junk set up here. All right. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. We had some new followers when I was uh, offline. Had Arcade Action and Galaxian following. Appreciate it, guys. We're getting close to uh, 600. I think I'm at like 590-something. Thank you, dudes, for tuning in. Got streamception. We got the stream running up here. Make sure everything's running smoothly for you guys. We're gonna be doing some vertical shooters tonight. So let's make sure we've got everything set up. We're gonna start with some uh, strikers, 1945. That'll give everybody a minute or two to kind of get in here. There we go. So again, thank you dudes for hanging out. Appreciate it. So make sure that everything's running. This is a uh, I don't stream from my laptop too often, so I just want to make sure that we're uh, good on sound and all that junk. <clears throat> yep, we're at 595. Five more to 600. It's pretty awesome. Let's make sure we're good. Yep, we're at 595. So I think game audio needs to go up a little bit. All right. So for anybody watching, again, thank you for uh, for tuning in, hanging out with us. While we play some shooters, we're going to be uh, playing a few games. So we're going to start with Strikers. Um, I'm going to credit feed because um, I'm not great at these. These uh, these Sikio games are really fun. I really enjoy them, but they're freaking hard. Bolt speed is super, super fast on them. But we are at home. We are playing on my, uh, my lovely Taito Egret 2 arcade cab. Whoop. I'm just freaking out over here. But thank you guys again for hanging out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to chat. Again, thank you to Galaxian and Arcade Action for those follows when I was off. Um, I'm going to turn game audio up a little bit just because I feel like my voice is kind of booming compared to the game audio. If we need to lower it, let me know. And I'll be happy to do that. All right. Let's check it real quick. Check it out real quick and just make sure that we're okay. I'm just not getting a lot of game audio coming through. Super weird. I guess I just gotta crank it. I guess that's I guess that's a little better. Let's see. I turned the game audio up a little bit. Let's see if that's any better. Weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Weird. I guess I'm just gonna turn my volume here down. Hopefully that'll work. Let's see. The joys of streaming from a new setup. My other my other computer set up a lot easier, so it's easier to kind of hear what's going on. But let's see. Hopefully we'll get some game audio, with some sounds, and everything. Let's see. Um. We're gonna play, and if uh, game audio needs to be updated or fixed, you guys can let me know. We'll go ahead and get started here. Add some credits, and again, we are gonna credit be quite a bit. So, all right. Hey, what's going on, guys? We got DJ Psycho M1 as well as Arcade Action. How's it going, guys? Yeah, I was trying to fix my game audio. It seems low. I'm using an Avery Media Capture, which I don't normally don't use, but uh, I guess we'll see how it do. Um, 
I like the P51. Hopefully it's not terrible. Let me know if you guys can't hear game audio or anything. Yeah, so these are these uh this is this game um holds a special spot for me. This is like, like my first quote unquote bullet hell game I ever got to play. Um, they had this at the skating rink where I grew up, which is where really my, my first introduction to you know outside of like a random Street Fighter cabinets at gas stations. Skating rink was really like my first quote unquote uh, place I would play. Um, my childhood arcade still exists. Um, it's down in Pasco County. It's called Stop and Play. Um, and it's still there. They, they didn't have a lot of shooters, but they had, you know, Turtles and X-Men and all that stuff. And it's, it's crazy, man. They still have the same cabs I grew up with. The actual four-player Konami cabs are still there. So I don't know how many people are lucky enough to say that. You know, their, their childhood arcade still exists. Some of the bolt speeds on these, uh, Sikio junk's crazy. And we are using the, uh, the split fire as well. I have a, um, I built a, uh, JAMA extension for streaming. It's about four feet long. So actually the PCB is over in front of the uh, the windy, so it's a little easier to swap stuff. I don't gotta move my mic and do all kinds of crazy. Ah, I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, do a lot of craziness before going into the next game. I always loved the uh, just the way the Sikio bullets looked. I've got um, Gunbird as well, Gunbird 1 and 2, um, and I just, those are some of my favorite looking vertical shooters. Just really cool games. Hmm. But yeah, I used to play this game a lot as a kid. Um, we didn't really have any like of oh, the gnarly cave shooters in our arcades. We had a lot, you know. There was like, actually a couple arcades that had these games. Ah, I should have bombed. Dang it! I'm so dumb. Sorry, guys. Game audio is low. Okay, I'll fix it in a second. I don't know what's going on with it. I'm gonna just crank it. Hang on. Let me know if that's any better. I, I'm using this Avery Media thing, and it, it's kind of crappy, man. I might switch to my other capture card. The planes like decay. Ah, so bad. Yeah, Strikers is all. I love Strikers, man. I know a lot of people dump on the first two. Um, Strikers three usually gets some love from some oop, from some of the cave boys, but uh, I, I enjoy them all for what they are. I think they're a really good way to get into uh, bullet hell games. Luke, <laughs> what's up, Luke? Based on true events, I don't know about that. I don't remember the the giant uh, plane mechs that turn into robots. Could be wrong though. I'm not that knowledgeable in history. Maybe I am wrong. 
but eventually we will be getting into uh, vertical shooters on Paducah, which is going to be a fun time because Jared and I love us some shooters. Getting a little bullet heli now. I hit B. I hit B. That's garbage. Super hard to time your charges. I should have done that further back. Oh, I am L Rusty. A little single single spiral there. Why did I stand there? Take that. Seven pins. What's up, man? Hang on one sec. I'll get caught up on chat. Outfox episode, do all locate ops of a warehouse of decay machines? All? Uh, no, a lot of them do that. A lot of the warehouses have been cleared out already. Uh, a lot of operators kind of got out of it uh, after the boom of the 90s. So there are there are still some um, warehouses out there that, that eventually will get raided. Uh, it's so much fun doing our warehouse raids, man, because you just find like the coolest stuff, and you never really know what you're going to find. And sometimes you find really cool stuff. Um, I actually found one of these boards. It's actually the board I'm playing on right now in a warehouse raid. Um, local, a local uh, skating rink to us had a bunch of games in it. And one of the boards they had was this, so I snagged it. Um, God dang it. But a lot of them did have, uh, did have that stuff, so... I'm sure every arcade collector... If, if, if you collect games and haven't gone on a raid yet, it's, it's one of the most fun things you can do in the hobby. Uh, I've gotten pinball machines out of them. I've gotten, uh, you know, our, obviously our uh, frick arcade boards, arcade. Ca oh my god, arcade cabinets, um, all kinds of gnarly stuff. Most of the time, it's it's you know, full cabs. And I think the last one I did, I got. Uh, that's where actually where I got the Megalo from. It was a barn up in Georgia. It was like falling over. Damn it, dude! I cannot squeeze through today. Saving stuff from a hoarder's house? Um, okay, uh, kinda. I mean, I'm probably borderline a hoarder too for certain things, so I can't I can't hate too much. Ooh, that little bullet got sneaky right there. Snuck through. Look how cool this is, man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this game goes for anymore. But if you're if you're on the fence about like vertical shooters, I, I highly, highly recommend picking this game up. It can't be that expensive. Maybe like I don't know, seventy five hundred bucks for this board if you can find one. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe prices are frick. Maybe prices are all over the place even on this game. But this is like a really common, uh, at least here in America, is common. Ooh. So I can get these power ups, man. Jesus, I am terrible. Yeah, sticky boards. There, there's a couple. I want to get uh, space bomber. And I want to get dragon. Uh, was it dragon? Uh, not saber. Uh, was it, I forget the. Sick of Dragon game. I had Dragon Saber as Namco. It was a 
Dragon Breed, is that it? Some of these bullet speeds are ridiculous. Flying pancake? Yeah, this has the pancake. You got the scorpion. Yeah, we're gonna be playing a cut. I've, I've got this. This is Strikers 1945-1. Um, I have Strikers 1945-2. We're gonna be checking out, and then I also have Strikers 1945-3. Ah, oh, mother fricker, AKA Strikers 1999. Uh, I figured we'll check out all three of them. I don't know if they made any other. Uh, I know that there's one for the Neo Geo. There's uh, Strikers 1945 Plus, which I also have, but uh, we're on vertical orientation, so we won't be playing that one. Watch the speed of some of these bullets, man. Ah, oh, I got greedy. <laughs> That's a uh, Turbo Force. I don't have Turbo Force. I want Turbo Force really bad. Um, I missed one on Clove. That's that game. That that's another one that's not super expensive, but you don't see it too often. But I'd love to get a Turbo Force board. If anybody watching's got one that wants to sell it to me for a not insane price, <laughs> let me know. Some of these patterns are just not fair. The problem with the, the Sikio patterns is like sometimes you have to like change direction as you're mo like, if you're committing to right, like you can't, like, ugh, it's hard to explain. Like with cave stuff, I feel like it's pretty, it's a lot more straightforward and the slowdown kind of helps you. Yeah, I, I've seen them, I've, I've seen two and I, I missed out on the last one by like 20 minutes. I was really bummed. I'd love to pick up a Turbo Force board, and they're they're not super pricey. They're just a, they're just a weird shooter. God, the charge time on this is like kind of hard, actually. Oh, I thought I could squeeze through. Scorpion. Look at that speed! What are you supposed to do? <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I guess you just gotta like stack your shields. Kinda be uh, smart about it. it. Makes sense. Um, but we're credit feeding anyways, so. <sighs> Dang it. Sorry, boys. This isn't even my final form. Now I'm an Evangelion monster. gives you like no time to think about where you want to go it's crazy horseshoe crab Tim <laughs> turbo force is awesome man I love turbo force I have it on uh, I played a bunch on main which is like where I actually learned about it oh my god Sikia wanted your quarters Real bad. I promise you guys, this game is tough. Yeah, I, I got the uh, the the collections on Switch. What is, is it? Dragon Breed? Is that the name? I think that's the the one. Or is that the M seventy two game? There's a Sikio game that they made. Dragon something. I 
forgot the name of it. Let me see. Dragon Blaze. Dragon Blaze is the board that I want, but that... Dragon Blaze and uh, Space Bomber are two boards I want, but they're very... You don't see them too often, and when you do, they are pricey. So this is the second loop, which is insanely more difficult. As you can see, the number of bulls multiplies by about 50-fold. Jesus. <laughs> I wonder... I mean, I'm sure that there are because people are insane, but I wonder if there's people that can, like, 1cc the second loop of this game. Like, the first... Oh, my God. The first loop... I can I can see it because it seems doable, but like the second loop. It just seems nuts, right? Those damn bombs that come out and then blow up into other little patterns are so challenging, man. I guess the whole point here is to just be smart about your storage. Yeah, okay. Yeah, my movement speed was not there. You got a credits? Yeah. All right, we'll do one more ship and then we'll swap boards. Let's see. So let me figure out what the hell's going on with this game audio. I don't know why it's doing this. Let's see. Um, I'm probably gonna do we're gonna we're gonna do all three strikers games, and then I've got a couple other uh, wild cards. Let's see if this is any better. Probably won't be. Good, that uh, killed video completely. That's fun. Hang on one second. Gotta love that, right? Now, I'm not even on the Aber. <laughs> Weird. Okay, okay. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I don't know why. Um, let's see. I don't want to crank this thing and like, blow your guys' ears out. Is, are you guys getting any game audio now? Like higher game audio? I have this thing like maxed out on red on my side. I don't want to like kill you guys. So why the frick are we not hearing it then? Hardly hear it. Okay. See, like on my side, it's like super clipped. Hmm. Let's see if we can't figure this out. Hang on. Hang on a second. I wonder if. 
turn this down. Yeah, I did earlier, and I, I could barely hear it too. Um, I wonder if I could just listen to it raw. Let me try something sneaky. Hang on. No, I can't do that. Yeah, voice is fine. It's just like I'm seeing audio on um, OBS. It's just not wanting to play the like the. It's weird. It's not wanting to play the audio through OBS. Super weird. Audio only. Hmm. Let me check something real quick. What I'm gonna do is manage audio devices. I wonder if I can just It's not even showing the Avery Media as like a uh, like a recording device. That's super weird. Because normally you can just like right click on it, you know, and then. Uh, See if we can do this. Properties. Uh, make all the sounds of my voice? No, I don't want to do that. Hmm. So why can I see the audio in OBS, but you guys can't hear it? That's bizarre to me. That doesn't make any dang sense. Let's see. Let me know if that's any better. It's louder? Okay. What about now? Are you guys getting get, picking up game audio now? It's still soft. Is that better? Okay, so for whatever reason, um, just in case anyone else runs into this, on Aver Media. You have to, even though it shows, it has its own, um, like, uh, like meter. You have to right click it and go to not just monitor, but monitor and output. I've never had to do that on my uh, cam link or on my like generic capture link. So hopefully, uh, is my voice still louder? Does the game? Let me know if the game audio needs to go up. At least now I know how to freaking adjust it. add my ninth credit because I'm going to need audio is good okay cool came came down Luke 
Make it a different one. Make it a different one. Make it a a bit better. If not, I can uh, still lower it. Let me know. Okay. 
you know, get stuck against the wall. I always try to stay like, a little bit off the bottom. Just for those taking bursts. Yeah, what's up, man? How you doing, buddy? Got a big crowd tonight from here. Pretty sure it's good out. And if you don't already, um, I know some of you guys aren't big stream watchers, but uh, Psycho, DJ Psycho in the stream. He, uh, he streams on Tuesdays, and he also does, uh, King Cat and RK streams. So, for sure, give that dude a follow if you haven't yet. Um, if you're into RK streams, also relaxing streams, you can send him in here. He's doing some CPS2 stuff. I need to, I need to freaking figure out my CPS2 multi. I want to do that Super Turbo Katrina mode. I've got like a, like a I, I almost think I have like a beta freaking multi, CPS2 multi. I've got to do all that junk with the pre-programming pro, pre and everything. I just haven't done it yet. Yeah, they do, um, they started the no emulation guys. But yeah, I'm not sure if you've, uh, posted what you're doing yet tomorrow. Game-wise. He's also just throwing a, uh, outrun cabaret. It's a cabaret. He does updates on that. You can see his chomp of bits. It sounds good the way it is, but, uh, These are really pretty. I like the lighting effects. I like the explosions. The sound's a little crunchy on these boards, but I think that's just kind of the nature of the hardware they use. I don't think I'm that one. These boards, from what I understand, are made kind of cheaply, which is why there's a billion of them over here. When you don't play these games in a while, I like just feel like you are terrible. Also, too, like I'm, on the cave games, like you've got like a little gem in your bag, and like, the rest of the thing is like free. I have a feeling the hitbox, like the hitboxes are like bigger on these schemes. At least they feel like it. I'm gonna tell myself that. It makes me feel better. Primal Rage? Heck yeah, man. I have a Primal Rage board. I gotta make an adapter for the power because it has that like, secondary freaking monstrous, uh, like 12 volt rail or whatever. I'm gonna make that harness. That board is gigantic. It's so big.
batteries to get F. Yeah, that was, yeah, dude, it, it, it's, it's ridiculous. Let's stop in the trap. Yeah, I know that. But he's supposed to be there. Come on. He really? This is insanity. Maybe the ship's just not as good as I don't know. I like that little mini power up better. I feel like I don't even have time to bomb. <laughs> it shows you. It shows you yeah, I think that follows right. It shows you a, a tiny little opening and it just takes it away from you. Because it knows. I want to go left. Look at that trash. How are you supposed to react? I'm an insane person. Like, it feels like I'm flying into bolts on purpose. I promise you guys I'm not.
how you're supposed to react with it. Thank you again, guys, for those follows. I do appreciate it. All right. So we can go ahead and change boards. Let's do this real quick. Go to the PCB swap one. We should have lost game audio. So we'll go ahead and swap. Let's go ahead and get another board out. Oh, Mighty Squirrel to host too. Thanks, buddy. So I've got the, uh, the boards actually sitting like over here. Let's pull out another board. I always try to wrap my boards back up and put them back in there. Do I have a fancy storage system? No, I, I keep them wrapped in like uh, anti-static bubble wrap and I kind of just like label them and then I, I have like a bookshelf uh, that I kind of just put them in with like tags so I can see what boards there. Nothing super fancy. I just try to keep them as safe as possible. I keep them upright like this. Nothing really sitting on top of each other. I used to use the flat rate box. They just take up too much room. So if you if you just kind of shrink wrap them like this, you can keep them thinner. Once I started doing board repairs and like fixing boards, I just I ran across so many freaking boards, man. I went from having like five games to like forty in like two months. This one I haven't played in a bit. This is one I actually ordered online. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully. Zipper flat rate box cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, the, the flat rate boxes are really good. I used to keep all mine, like, in the pink bubble wrap and then in the, uh, like, in the flat rate boxes. But on the, I have, like, an Ikea bookshelf. You could only probably fit, like, I don't know, maybe, like, eight or nine games on there. And if you wrap them like that and kind of keep them separated enough, I can fit, like, 20 or 30 boards on, on like, one shelf on the top of the Billy bookshelf. So... To me, I, I just don't have a lot of room, so I'm trying to keep everything like separated here.
So this one's like different size that look. It's weird. Yeah, man, like that's that's the worst part is is you run out of space. These things take up so much room, you know. Um yeah, like I have a, I have a, my my buddy Rob who does Padukan with me. He's got for like his Nintendo Versus stuff. He's got like a like a wooden thing that he cut and like uh and he like channel channeled it and like put all the boards in. It looks really nice. It just takes up so much room. Dude, model 2 and 3 stuff like you could like put an air conditioner on it it's so big man like even mortal kombat mortal kombat those are the only boards that i kept in the uh the post office boxes because they were so friggin big that it made more sense to just keep because you have two boards at least mine do so you have the main board wrapped and then you have the little sound board with the y cable wrapped in the box so they kind of keep them together uh ultimate mortal kombat 3 is a is a single board at least the one i have but those two those games have separate sound boards i keep them in boxes and then, like, all my bigger boards, like, my, my multis are all up there on that shelf. I've got, like, the F3, CPS2, um, STV, all the big ones are up there. Screw to it, yeah. No, I, li I like your setup. It, it's really nice how you, how you kind of have them all set like that. Um, I wish I could, I mean, I've got, for when I stream, what I do is I... The, the boards, I because it, it's always a pain to try to like run boards into the cab and you got to move stuff. So I just hand soldered like a four foot JAMA extension. So I have everything sitting over here. So I just have like a cardboard box with uh, some bu like pink bubble wrap and then the board sits on top of that with the uh, split fire. And then up here, you can kind of see it. I have the OSSC sitting here. I can just kind of adjust stuff if I need to. Um, Shenry was awesome, man. Shenry was a really, really cool game. I wish I, wish I got to play that more as a kid. That's a really fun game. Shenryu's good. Um, Geki Rinden's fun. There's a lot of really cool shooters out there. The F3 or the um, the GNet is has some cool shooters too. There's a lot of conversions on there. There's like uh, what are the PS1 ones? Um, Brave Blade, I think's one. Um, I'm so bad at like remembering the names of these like shooters, but there's a lot of like cool conversions people did pretty neat. I don't know how loud this is going to be, so let's see. Raystorm, thank you. Whoops. Wrong button, guys. Dude, 12 stag or 13? Yeah. 12 stag is so fun, man. I love, like, just, that's a game where you can just, like, wiggle the stick to do damage. Oh, it's so fun, man. 12 stag is awesome. I love it. Yeah, Chaos Heat, I'm selling one, man. If you know anybody into uh, GNET stuff, I've got that Chaos Heat cart. I'm happy to uh, to sell that cheap to somebody who wants it. Hey, Flying Foot, thank you for that follow. Appreciate that, buddy. Um, yeah, I think I've got a Chaos. I think it's Chaos Heat, isn't it? Let me see. But yeah, I've got a. I think it's Chaos Heat Cart. It's not. It's not a GNet board. It's just the game, Ying. But if you're interested in the game, happy to hook you up. I'll get my little fan pop in here. Um, yeah, it's just. The, it's just a game for GNet. There are some really good deals right now, though. If you guys are are looking for GNets, um, on eBay, Yatan, he has like a new a new store. But he was selling two GNet systems for pretty cheap, like like 150 bucks shipped. And then you can do uh, the the multi BIOS mod where you like flash it into the board, and then you can just load load games off uh, compact flash cards. It's a really cool system. My my buddy, uh, my other buddy who does the podcast, Jared, he actually had one, and I like fell in love with it. So I wound up finding one um, a couple years ago, and he helped me get it all set up. But it's awesome, man. It's really cool. I don't know how audio is on this one. Let's see. Is it 
audio not working? Hang on. It's got a uh, weird pot you gotta use. I hate when they have the tiny little uh, pots, volume pots. All right, game audio good there. It's on roulette. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I've had pretty good luck with you, Ton. Knock on, uh, knock on wood. Sometimes you get to, like, on my Windy here, he, I bought my uh, topper off of him. Never see those things for sale. He sent it to me in a friggin', he basically bubble wrapped it and shipped it. And, of course, it showed up in 50 pieces. But I said, hey, man, look, I bought this thing. Like, And I specifically asked him, like, to ship it in a box and I'd pay extra shipping, and he didn't. And I sent him a picture of it, and he sent me another one for free, no charge. So, I mean... I, I understand that, you know, he's not the best, but sometimes, sometimes you know, you, you're buying crap out of an arcade that's super old, and, you know, I don't know how, how good his testing methods are. I'm really not trying to make excuses, but sometimes, you know, it is what it is. All right, let's play some Striker. Here's a pancake. Someone wanted to see the pancake. Okay, so this is Striker. Just, I just realized. God damn it. Back to the pancake. Again, if game audio needs to be adjusted, please let me know. You can see that, like, I know these games aren't super far apart as far as the escape goes, but, like, the, uh, the animation of anything just looks so much smoother. The sound's a little bit better on this game, in my opinion. Um, I've had probably, like, Four or five strikers, 1945 boards that had audio issues. So having this one, having having some actually like decent audio is, is nice, and it's totally fixable. It's usually it's usually just bad caps that fixes the the sound. Every once in a while, it's one of the chips, but usually it's just caps. See, so yeah, I'm gonna be in the market for a. Uh, I guess I should just buy another camera and put a good laptop set up. I don't know, I'll go back and watch the bottom just and see how bad it is. It looks okay on capture. Maybe on the front. Icebreaker aircraft carrier. Trying to squeeze through that little tight area, dude. Uh, didn't want to work.
Yeah, this this game, I never, um, at least I don't remember playing this in arcades. Um, this is more of a, after I got into shooters and I bought uh, Strikers 1945 Part 1, I'm like, oh, that's cool, I made sequels, I didn't know that, and then, obviously that led me to uh, getting Part 3, or 99, whatever you want to call it. That was lucky. Uh, he scores, scores through. Sometimes they get sneaky and they come down like that and you can't get behind it. Yeah, lucky right there. Super, super lucky. Yeah, this game's great, man. This is a really, really fun one. Not a lot of people talk about 2. Um, I guess 3 is just that much better, but um, I like 2. It just it feels a lot better than part 1 as well. Like One thing that's kind of weird about Scipio games, um, at least to me, is like, cave games, like the, the control just feels like buttery smooth. In Scipio games, they feel a little more like... I don't, know, I don't know the right word, jagged, maybe? Like, you don't, it's just not as smooth. But, uh, it, it's not bad, it's just like a different feeling. Like, once you play them through a little bit, like, it, it kind of feels okay, like, you get used to it, but it's definitely not as, like, smooth. Yeah, man, uh, two's great. I, I really do enjoy this game. Like, and for the most part, again, I, I don't know how how prices are. Three is kind of pricey nowadays, but one shouldn't be too bad. I, I've I've bought a bunch and sold a bunch for like 50, 60 bucks. I, I mean, to be fair, I haven't looked in a bit because I have one, but um, three was the only one that I paid anything like any decent money for. And even that wasn't like anywhere near cave money or. I think three I paid like 150 bucks for, and maybe that's even high. I don't know. I, I didn't see it too often, and I was just impatient. Gunbird two, I paid a little bit of money for. Um, that's a pricey game, but uh, I think I think both Gunbirds are kind of pricey now. I can. My, my Grail game, my dream shooter PCB, is uh, the original Mushi, Mushihime Sama. But they're, they're just, I mean, Yatan has some on eBay, but he wants like $1,800. I'm like, I'm just never going to do that. It's just not, it's not worth it. Oh, I really enjoy that game a lot. That was my first cave, 1cc, was on that game. Some pretty good flying. Not bad. There we go. I'm trying to get used to the. Oh my god. <laughs> He's trying to get used to some of the craziness. And a lot of these don't. Whew. Oh, we're doing so good. We have him flashing and everything. 
close. Yeah. Yeah, we almost had a really good run there on that ball. Rebo, what's up, man? Shooting all the things is a good idea. How you been, Rebo? Sometimes there's like a little sweet spot you can like hide in. A lot of times it's not though. Ah! These guns are not freaking around, dude. Woo! Oh, I went too far left. Yeah, this is slightly more fast-paced than Turf Masters. You're not wrong. I think both are equally as frustrating, though, if it makes you feel any better. We have no bombs left, no got Yeah, we're done. Such a butthole. Lugan, thank you for that follow, buddy. Oh, frick. oh, the host. Thank you, dude. You guys are all hosting. Appreciate it. Oh, no. That dude straight up hooked. He blitz crank hooked through the freaking bomb. He wasn't having any of it. Mode 7 esque zoom in stuff. Tank, he's tested for drug getting crazy fast. Ooh. I think I'm better than I am in this game, and I always die because of it.
I want all the points. No! And some of these final balls, like stage zone, I don't remember it well. So we're gonna die a lot. Shocked me through that. Did you build a little guy in front of us? How bad is that, man? Come on. Oh, God. <laughs> it's so hard. This game is super, super rough. Yeah, no, I, they're all hard, man. Especially, I'm not, I'm not super good at these games. Um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely challenging. It, just the bolt speed. If the, if the bolts were a little bit slower, I do think it would be man. I'm surprised. Oh, frick, I'm surprised nobody's ever made like a hack that like slowed them down to like cave levels of speed. Much more people would enjoy it. Because some of this stuff, like, you know, there's just no way you can react to it. At least I can't. be a cool thing that somebody can make like the bullets like I don't know 25% slower oh shit okay good to know good to know I like how the game lies to you yeah you're almost there See, I need to know when that freaking butt blast is coming out. That is gnarly. Was a bad bop. Oh, dude, if I had to put a quarter in for each credit, I'd have like a thousand dollars. Look how cool that is, though, man. Ugh. Reminds me of GLaDOS. Even like not even shooting and just trying to get through that, I can't do That's how bad I am. I don't think we're gonna honestly make it through any of these patterns without dying. We got, oh god, we only got through that first one because I was still in Ming's I think. We did it! Oh. We got through a pattern, boys. Woo! Woo! Reactions are possible. Yeah, I agree.
All right, so that is Strikers 1945 Part 2. So if you guys can guess what we're going to do next. That's right, Strikers 1945 Part 3. Let's get chain is that a Shin Chan behind you? It is a very big Shin Chan. Um, the plush. I got it off of. Um, I play a, a Japanese crane game on my phone called uh, Crane Game Tariba, um, and I won that. I want I want a bunch of Shin. I, I usually like only play for Shin Chan stuff, but that's yeah, a big old honking. Uh, it's probably about like I don't know, fifteen inches wide, maybe. Big plush. Thank you guys again for the uh, follows, the hosts. The subs, the bits, all that fun stuff. Appreciate that. Let's go ahead and swap this board. Hang on one sec. Yeah, a lot of the old, like, Yatan, uh, or sorry, a lot of the old pre Yatan boards I would get had these, like, I don't know, I, I don't know if they're Chinese or if they're Korean. Pardon my ignorance. Um, these, like, weird stickers on them, and it would just say, like, you know, 1945-2, and it has, like, this weird, like, sticker thing on it. So, it's an odd one. It's an odd one. Let me wrap this bad boy back up. So, we're going to do the, the third Strikers game, and then we're going to change it up. This one's got the old, uh, this one's actually like super, super shiny. You can kind of see the shine on that board. Again, I don't know volume on this. We'll see what happens. Sound like we had some, some audio coming through. Yeah, appreciate you guys hanging out again. Super fun. It's always cool when we have people chatting and stuff. We're getting close to 600, too. I think I'm at like 595 followers. So, only a few more until the big old 600. So, this one, too, looks like skinnier than the last one. Super weird why it does that. No, it's pretty much the same. Yeah, so this is Strikers 1945.3 or um, Strikers 1989. I think I've seen both splash screens. I don't know if it's just like an EP ROM or if a. If it's like a like a ROM swap or what it is, but I definitely have seen um, some that say Strikers 1945 three, uh, three, but we're gonna call it Strikers 1999 because that's what my board says. But yeah, and this is again part three. Visual upgrades. Um, this is probably the prettiest of the three. I'd say, I think. super neat game it gets really hot in my room in the process we're doing a bunch of home repair stuff I've got a new air conditioner coming in the next couple weeks for my whole house I can't wait I'm getting an extra vent put in my in my game room guys I'm gonna have double the cold air coming in here oh can I wait my air conditioner is from 1994 right now so I think it struggles to, to keep the house cool and then we're gonna have double air in here Woo! you can't wait.
Yeah, this is a really fun one. I don't, I don't know. Has anybody here played this one before? It, it's really cool. It's it's very pretty, um, but it's a lot of fun. Need a new HVAC? Yeah, man, it it sucks. I just you know my wife and I we we just right now is a really good time to refinance if if you're a homeowner and able to take some of that and uh, get some new junk. We're getting a, a my roof. I got a new roof going on tomorrow. Literally tomorrow. They uh, they came today and put all the crap up on there, all the new shingles and everything. So we're doing a roof. Then we're doing HVAC, and then we're doing all their crap around. This is all home repair stuff. It's the the joys of being a homeowner. But uh, let's check this out. We may need to increase volume a little bit. I don't know. I think it's okay. We will do. Um, let's do the uh, F22. Again, this is the one that, that most of the, uh, let me rephrase that. A lot of my friends that are into cave shooters really like this one. They recommended for me to pick this up. And they did. Got a lot of like um, effects similar to like Raven. Look at that bomb animation. Come on, man. So good. I do regret, I used to have the Thunder Dragon boards. I kind of regret getting rid of those. Wouldn't mind picking those up again. Those those are, they've gone up in price, but they're not like catastrophic. Thunder Dragon one too. Secret plan? I don't know. Is there a secret plan? You tell me. So this one feels like you can actually like climb your way through a lot of the bursts. And the granite is just a really, really slow in comparison. But uh it's kind of stuff I like is like trying to like find a hole and like crawl through them. I've always liked that about bullet hell stuff. And sometimes it just seems impossible, but watching streamers like Gussie, he does like, uh, he does the Futari, Mushigumi Sama Futari. He plays on an Xbox 360 controller. It's unbelievable. We were about to get smashed. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, like as the as the games got the technology advanced and they got stronger CPUs and more memory, absolutely they increased the number. I mean that was Kate's whole thing was it's one of the seeing the amount of bullets on the screen, that's how we got, you know, from 
Apache. I just love how they, they were smart enough to know that there was going to be slowdown. They used it to, to design the game. Like, that's, that's really cool. It's like, hey, we know this is a thing, but how can we use this to... How can a player use it to their advantage? Oh, we were doing really good there for a sec. Yeah, man, like, that's the thing. Like, a lot of, you know, Street Fighter's the same way. The combos were, were in a happy accident, and, you know. That's arguably the best fighting game franchise, so. It's always cool, you know, when they're able to kind of learn something cool from their mistakes or, or turn into a feature. It's always a joke, you know. We do software development and stuff at night at work, and it's not a bug, it's a feature base. Game running like crap? Yeah, it's designed that way. Wow, this one doesn't let you credit feed. No, we're probably not going to get the CBN, guys. I forgot about that.
don't know if we're gonna see the end of this one. That sucks, we killed him right at the end. <laughs> Meet, what's up, buddy? Yeah, this isn't gonna let us, uh, credit for the sound of the Sorry, guys. Is that a dip switch setting? Can you turn it off? Here I am, trying to be lame, credit for the arcade board, and you can't even do that properly. Last try. Don't think we're gonna do it. I need to look that up too. It's a good setting or something. I don't think it lets you continue. Maybe all of our bombs, but we could get through. I didn't know what his pattern was going to be. It's pretty funny that you can cheat by making players to start. It's pretty awesome.
Well, you can look at the moss. Yeah, this is a uh, 1945-3, aka 1999. Strikers 1999. Is there a last credit, I believe? Ripperoni. Yeah, this is 1999. My board striker is 1999. Yes. Sorry, guys. I didn't know we can uh, cheese on that one. This is uh, pretty terrible. So those are all three strikers games. Um, so kind of new to retro. Yeah, man. You can cheese it. Let's see. Maintenance code. Uh oh. 1999. Yeah, they're they're not very long games. Is it like zero one nine nine or just one nine nine nine? Oh, you're fine, Meats. Ask as many questions as you need to, buddy. Let's see if uh, Squirrel responds. I don't know if it's... Okay, 0199. Let's see. Uh, secret command enable. What does that do? Does that let me cheat to the end? I can credit feed now? Secret okay. Oh no. I need to add credits. I'm excited. I don't know what the secret is. Um we did the F twenty two. This will do the F A eighteen. I don't know what the secret is. I'm excited. Is it is it I can't die? We can find out soon enough. Why is ungodly powerful now? I feel like I, uh, I'm a lot more powerful than I was, but maybe it's just because of a different point. Oh, okay, okay. I'll go ahead and die. I didn't realize I had to pick up this secret thing. Sorry, there's a little bit of lag, like, from what you guys see when I stream, so. Before we start. Do I have to do it again? Do I have to, like, go back to the thing, or is the secret still, like, enabled? Nope, okay. So we'll add my other credit. Alright, so we go to this. X thirty six. Okay, is that it? Sweet. 
sweet. Whoa! What the frick? That's slightly amazing. Dude, he's like a robot. Is there a way to enable like credit feeding? Is that a thing that I can? I want to see the end of this game. Like, can you like enable continues or whatever? No, unfortunately, okay. That's fine. I guess that's gotta get good. If I get good, I mean not good. Get good means watch the ending on YouTube. Player two, okay. I got you. Yeah, this plane's pretty rad, man. I wonder if there's any other like hidden codes. Is there other hidden codes? Besides just 1999? You've gotta be, right? Yeah, this plane's pretty incredible. That's it? Really? That's nuts that they would make that and just put one code in. Yeah, this plane's awesome. Like his little like unicorn laser beam that turns into a robot. Pretty awesome. Oh, I'm dumb. I flew right at that bullet, man. Whoa! Dude, this plane's sick. Like football spikes a freaking bomb down. That's awesome. That's really cool. Uh, my buddy has a, um, he bought a Chulix the same time I bought mine. And he went with, rather than doing like boards and, and you know, Taito stuff, he went with uh, a PC with launch box. It's pretty cool. It's a nice, clean little front end. It's, it's not super flashy, but like, it doesn't use any resources. But he's got it set up. He's got like a huge main library thing on it. And, it's great. I mean, if I was ever going to do that again, I'd probably just use Launchbox. It's just super easy to set up. You put like a, a J-Pack on his cab and it, it's super easy. Didn't really have to mess with much. I, I'd recommend it. I don't have one, but I've, I've set, I set his up for him. It wasn't too complicated. That animation is so cool to see him football spike that bomb. That is like the gnarliest thing ever. God dang it. So bad at this game. So 
cool. Fight Cade. Yeah, I mean, I've been meaning to set Fight Cade up on my my uh, Chew. I need to do that. I have like a little PC that I swap in there to play like Steam stuff. I need to set Fight Cade up. I just haven't done that yet. It doesn't seem super complicated. But a lot of my friends play on it. They say, they say it's pretty decent as far as the net code and everything, so. That friggin' fast bullet, you piece of trash. That's so satisfying to hit that bomb button with this plane. Stalker, what's up, buddy? Yeah, this is a this is a real PCB. Everything we're playing tonight is a uh, 100% legit. No Mister, no uh, no consoles, no emulation. It's all real, <laughs> real arcade PCB. I kind of want that animation when somebody like follows my stream. Like I want that to be. I gotta find that gif of him just spiking and then the person's name comes up. That's so awesome to watch. Yeah, get this up, buddy. How many shoot 'em up PCBs do I have? Um, I can try to name them if you want to keep track. I've got strikers. 1945 Part 1, Strikers 1945 Part 2, Strikers 1999, um, I've got Gunbird 1 and Gunbird 2, um, I've got um, Bells and Whistles, I guess that's kind of a shoot 'em up, if you count that. Um, God, why did I go right? I'm so doomed. Um, Right, that was quick. Uh, I've got the IGS PGM conversion cave games. So I've got like Dodon Pachi, Black Label, and uh, Ketsui, and uh, ESP Galuda, I think it is. Yeah, ESP Galuda. Um, I've got Last Duel by Capcom. I, I don't know if that's considered a shoot 'em up, it's kind of one. I've got. Uh, also, I've got. Oh, I've got. Uh, I've got a GNet board. It's got a couple shooters on it, like a GNet Multi. Um, I've got the F3 that's got some shooters on it. I've got uh, CPS2, Multi CPS2. I've got Varth. I forgot about that guy. I have a legit Varth PC, a US Varth PCB. Kind of uncommon. Um. I have Space Invaders Part 4, which we're probably going to play next. God, I am awful. I don't know. I have to go through all of them. I've, I've got quite a few. But I don't really have anything like super high dollar. I guess like the, probably the most pricey um, single board I have is probably Gunbird 2. If I had to guess.
Why did I think my fat body could fit through that? Couldn't. This is challenging as frick, boys. This game's hard as hell. And my goal earlier, I said I want to get a, um, a Mushihime Sama piece to be like the original game, but I think of it like there's one on eBay right now, but it's like eighteen hundred dollars. Adding any cards for your boy? Freaking frick, dude! God, immediately exploded. Ugh. How the frig are you supposed to get through that? Mushime Tama? Nice. We were talking about that on my podcast not too long ago. I'd love to play it. He had the little, uh, little cat joystick topper thingies. Or is that Uo, is that Uo Poco? Let's get this mixed up. Fifteen. Thanks. <laughs> nice. That's stuff. Yeah, I've got like so. I, like a lot of times, I'll buy boards on eBay that have like slight little graphical glitches or like weird like errors and. I try to go through and fix stuff. Sometimes it's, it's just like, you know, EPROMs get corrupted or are dirty or, or whatever. So sometimes you, you can get lucky. Um, a lot of times, though, you, you're not going to get lucky, but um, sometimes you can. Okay there. Oh, Uo Poco, okay. I know, man. Kai is that, that dude's on a whole nother level. Well sorry guys, we can't get through. I, I'm I'm not good enough to, to muscle my way through um the end of this one. That's a really cool game. Thank you, thank you for that. Heads up on that. Unlock, that's really cool. So we got some options. We can do uh we can do Bells and Whistles. We can do um, Majestic 12, which is Space Invaders Part 4. What do you guys think? Thank you guys again for hanging out. It's good good seeing you dudes. Good hearing from you. Again, we're getting close to 600. Let me see what we're at. 595, I think. Uh, 596. We need four more. We're getting close. Um, let me see what I got. Let's see what we can swap to. Konami shooters, uh, bells and whistles. That's um. So I had, I forgot, I had an MX five thousand board, but I donated it to um, Furtech and Jotego for the Mister Project. So I sent them that. Um, it was a board I picked up at a, a show for like thirty bucks. Um, I uh, I donated that to them, and they're in the process of taking that apart to put on Mister, and that that'll help with uh, games like Haunted Castle. Uh, Nemesis, I think, uses the same sound chip. They were posting about it today on on Twitter. Um, so a lot of a lot of that, you know, MX five thousand is a really early, um, really really early uh, shooter, like Konami shooter, but it's the same hardware or similar hardware to uh, 
like Contra, that area. Um, let me see what, what we got. Let's see. Here, we'll, we'll put some Konami on for, uh, for Psycho here. Hang on. Swap this real quick. Yeah, this Bells and Whistles board um, I got on Clove, and it had one damage trace that I was able to put back together. Thundercross too is awesome, man. I've got a buddy down in the Tampa area. He's a big. He also has a wind. This is a windy one, next to the uh, Egret here, and he uh, his dream cab was always to get a windy one and a windy two, and he was able to do it. And uh, he had to do quite a bit of work to get the monitor going, but he's able to swap a blast tube into it and get it running. But he's got a bunch. He has a really nice collection of uh, PCBs and like Konami stuff and. He's got, I think he's got Thundercross, Thundercross. He has like a bunch of stuff. I don't even know what he has. Um, but I was bummed. He got a, uh, he got a really good deal on a sexy Parodius I wanted. But I'm glad it went to him. He's a good dude. Can't have them all, man. You gotta, you gotta share sometimes. But he got a, a really good deal on a sexy Parodius. Um, he got a sexy Parodius, and I think he got a. Uh, I can't remember what the other game was. You get a really good deal in like two games. Yeah, this is a cool little board. It's very, very similar to like Ninja Turtles. But this one you can look on the bottom. I had to do a little, I don't know how, how well it'll pick up. I had to do a little bit of a trace repair on there. A couple little jumpers and stuff I had to fix. Gun nail on there? I heard a gun nail. P47. Oh, I have P47. I forgot about that. Uh, horizontal shooter, right? I have P47. Uh, is that a Data East game? I think it, I think that's it. Message me. If, you, if you're after that one, I'll, I'll hook you up if I still have it. i got to double check. I'm pretty sure I still have P47. Um, Across Plus is cool. Air, Air, how do you say it? Is it Galay? Air Galay? Wings of Arrow? Is that... No, I guess it's different than Arrow Fighters. I gotta check some of these out. Data East games. Oh, it's the sequel. Okay, I've got the first one then. I gotcha. I gotcha. So I have version L, whatever that means. P forty seven is fun, man. It it if you want it, I'll, I'll hook you up. I, I gotta dig through my board stack and see if I still have it, but I don't have much into it, man. I, I literally pass it off to you. It's fun. It's like a horizontal. It's kind of like it's not like UN Squadron, but it's similar. It's pretty neat, man. You probably dig it. Um, let's see why this looks weird. It's just a little off. P forty seven piece engine, yeah, I think it's the same, same version, right? Same kind of thing. All right, so this is not Strikers nineteen ninety nine. So let's fix that. Is it B E L L E S or is it B E L L S? I can't remember. I think it's just bells, right? Move my little fan out of the way here. 
I love the little startup on this. How it's like at like a game center. There's a there's a couple shooters I want. I want to get a Game Paradise board. I'd love to get a Kingdom Grand Prix board. Um, there's quite a few. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a few. Um, Proteus are, are fun. Um, I'm trying to think of the other ones. Uh. Hmm. P forty seven A is developed by NMK. Yeah, NMK did the they did the Thunder Dragon games, right? Am I, am I saying that right? It's Thunder Dragon. I had Thunder Dragon 2. Uh, I regret selling that board. That was a fun game. Um, Thunder Dragon, kind of, it's, it's not the prettiest game, but it played really well, and it was really fun. That was a, that was a cool game. It is friggin' hot in here, boys. It's probably about 82 degrees, 83. It's hot in the game room, dude. That second air vent is going to go like right here, right above the egret and where my computer chair is, and it's just going to breathe cold air onto me. The fruit's coming for you. <laughs> yeah, NMK, okay, Thunder Dragon, yeah, yeah, they, they're really fun. I miss that board. Again, if anyone has a, a, tur a Turbo Force, I want one real bad. Vertical shooter that you get to play as like a Lexus. If anybody has one and wants to sell it to me for not a stupid price, please let me know. I missed one on Claw for like a hundred bucks like a couple of months ago and I'm still mad about it. This game's hard as frick and I'm terrible at it, but it's still pretty fun. I don't know how loud it's going to be, so bear with me, boys. Oh, run free play. Never mind. Yeah, video system. Video system. -y. They did. They did some uh, Neo Geo stuff too. This is my only uh, current Konami shooter. I've got, oh, uh, I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to catch the damn bell. Um, frick. Black do speed down. That's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. all right, so your bomb hits a little target on the ground. So many bells. Double shot, frick yeah, dude. Whew. Followers, there we go. Yeah, D boss, I'm not I'm not a fan.
I don't know if it's like charges that change the colors, or is it just like number of times you hit it? Okay, don't want black. The raspberry, no! Oh, the freaking look like corns. This is a really pretty game. <laughs> Those little cowboy, how rad is that? Yeah, man, you gotta, you gotta save your life, dude. That little like thing reminds me of, like an oxy pad cleaning your face. Now, with it being a Konami game, I'm gonna assume there's a bunch of like hidden crap, like in the stages and stuff. I think th this was uh, Twin B here, right? Or was it Twin B in Japan? We got Bells. I can't remember. I always get that stuff mixed up. So many draw bells now. Squirrels got them. Damn it, we need to shoot that one again. Pink elephants are coming in hot. Oh, I wanted to get the ambulance thing.
Okay, okay. Ah. Uh, trying to do some fanciness there. Oh my god, that was awful. Look at these jokers. Crazy looking enemies, huh? Wait, what? What are you supposed to do? What the frick? Uh, where are you supposed to go? I'm so confused. Okay, that's weird. Is there like a, a safe spot there? This game gets super challenging. Very, very pretty, pretty game. Oh, damn it. Really? Okay. I was looking at the dang bell. Oh my frick! Woo! No power ups, huh? Okay.
god. That's just me being bad. That really wasn't that hard to dodge. Pretty cool animations. Poppin' can be, yeah, it's Super Famicom, right? I think? Or is that Saturn? I know there was a Twin B on the Saturn game. Because I found that at a horror movie convention, believe it or not. Frickin' stupid speed down. Get out of here. Debuff garbage. I suck. You the mister, right? Uh, Sikio? It's probably on there. If you wanted to check it out. shield ate that whole thing. Ugh. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, okay. Pretty instant. Okay, so it's three lightning bolts. <laughs> I could get to the left of it. I'm so dumb. That's pretty animation, man. He yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Wow, this is a really pretty stage. Look at that. Oh, that's an enemy. Whoops. Oh, power up. Dang it. 
behind you. They come up behind you. Okay, they actually come at you. They don't just go in a random angle. Okay. Little cups of coffee? Oh, I was hoping my little that would lock on, but it didn't. Not in time, anyways. Oh. <laughs> Coffee would never attack you. Yeah. Guess it depends on your definition of attack. Alright, coming up to the bows. Pretty cool looking boss. I was gonna say that, there's no way. Wow, okay. Wow, this thing got really, really difficult. Oh, my little guy! Oh no, I lost him! Bomb comes so important. Oh, damn. Little nabby things from Zelda came up behind me and wrecked me. Good lord. God darn it. Frick. This got insanely difficult. Double shot. I got chicken. These are like chicken clubs. Are you 
friggin' jokering. Oh dang, Lick Arcade coming through. What's up, buddy? With the Biddy Boys. What's up, man? How you doing? We are credit feeding the frick out of some shooters tonight. Playing on the old Egret de. Ugh. Fighting the coronavirus here, it looks like. Oh my god. Random Retro, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. Like, this is actually really hard. Because, like, you try to position yourself and those freaking lasers get you, dude. <laughs> I can't, I can't make it through one loop. Ugh. 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 <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Thanks, man. Yeah, this is the candy side. The other side has my, uh... Repair bench and my Chulix. And eventually I'm gonna squeeze my Goldie in here. I'm gonna put my workbench out in my garage. We're gonna get the Goldie. The Goldie in here, and if, if I'm a magician, I wanna try to get my initial D3 cab in here, but I don't know if I, I gotta take that thing fully apart. I don't know if I'm gonna get it in here or not. I'd like to. I don't know if I can get it in here. These little homing berries can F off. Those things are hard as hell to kill. Okay. Okay. Yikes! These are hard to kill. Oh, it's like Mushihime I died. I can't get away from those things, man. Japan likes their bugs, huh? Definitely dark and dingy in here. It's also hot as balls. So a fully charged shot doesn't get rid of that. It's crazy. Look how cool that background looks, man. That's freaking awesome. No, it's more of these things I suck at. Ooh. Oh no, this is way worse. Deluxe man cave? I don't know about that. I think uh, I think Psycho's got me beat. His his room's bigger. And, uh, he's got an outrun. I don't got an outrun. Holy! This is so hard for my brain to like wrap around. I'm genuinely trying to do dodge the. Ooh. Wow. Oh 
god, it's screaming. Look at it. Looks like Krang. Shredder. Is that it? Okay. Yes, <laughs> there you go, Ribbo. I have a window, but it is covered up. There we go, it's bells and whistles. That was one of my uh, earlier PCB repairs. I bought off Claw that had battery damage and it ate a few traces, and I was able to uh, run some jumpers on there and get it running again. So there is deals out there, guys. You can find stuff. Don't be afraid. The game's running, and you know, it, at least if it's running and you can see like some graphical glitches, they're usually fixable. You just gotta do some work, and, and sometimes you get lucky again, and it's you know, bad a bad ROM or something like that. But other times, a lot of it's batteries leak, and you gotta replace resistors and stuff. But you can find stuff. Masato Osawa. Pretty cool game. All right, let's do one more game. Let me see what else I can get. I can grab. Hang on one sec. We'll play one more. Let's see. Oh, here's that. Uh, here's that chaos heat. If anyone's interested, legit Gnet cart. If anybody wants it, message me. I'll hook you up cheap. PCB swap. Yeah, this board's really similar to uh, like Turtles in Time. It's got like the double uh, audio adjust and everything. It's pretty cool. is overrated, my dudes. You don't need it. When you when you have I know I don't have any hair anymore, but when you have red hair, the sun really isn't your best friend. Like I always tell people I get sunburn getting the mail. It's kind of a joke. Do you have a fireplace, man? So that's room for cat. <laughs>
Dude, the the cabs are absolutely addictive, man. They are absolutely addictive. Move my little fan here. Now this is not the the real PCB. This is the uh, PGM cartridge version. So no, it's not the thousand dollar board or whatever it goes for. This is the uh, conversion of the little PGM system. I'm probably gonna have to check volume on this. Yeah, hang on. These conversions play pretty good. Um, the only one that really has problems is the uh, the Dodon Pachi. If you're playing the, I've got the, the the early like test version where they were able to like get it to boot white label, but I think it locks up on stage four. So you can play black label totally fine, which is awesome. It's just really freaking hard. Um, but the white one locks up on stage four. Got lucky sprig right there. Yeah, this game definitely's got some hot games in it. And all, the, all these K games are fun. I wish they were more affordable. I, I was always, you know, I don't know why Cave wouldn't release, like, re-release their PCBs. I remember reading an article that said basically they, they don't make one of the chips anymore, and they, they felt that they couldn't recreate it 100%, so they didn't want to be bothered. But you got to think, with, like, the, the, the FPGA is, like, being on the rise. Like, come on, man. Really? Is that, is that like, really accurate? Like, I'm sure that their engineers could FPGA those chips and, like, just release, like, a, a PCB. Like, I know, I know, like, the big thing now is, like, they want to be on, oh, God, they want to be, like, on the X-Arcadia and, like, really stuff like that. Like, and I get it. And, like, maybe they just don't want to do it because they feel they can make more, like, hot frick on the market, like, like, Nesca stuff. It would just be nice to be able to, like, purchase Mushihime Sama, like, on a PCB for not a billion dollars. And like, it's not that cave wouldn't make money. Even if they sold it for like, you get three games for like a grand, people would buy them. I'd probably buy them if they were like three games I wanted. But who knows? Maybe I'm crazy. Yeah, I don't know, man. I have no idea why they don't. I mean, they, I don't know. Has there, ever, has there been, like, I know you could get Dodon Pachi and Don Pachi on, like, Saturn, but, like, has there been, like, a re like a, a re-release on any console since? Like, did you get it on PS3 as, like, a download or anything? Even, like, the console versions? Like, I don't, I generally don't know. I know, I know some of, like, I know some of the cave stuff was on, like, PS2, and, like, obviously on the Xbox 360 or something, but, like, I, what, that wasn't, like, the original game, like, Dodon Pachi, was it? There's like black label and like Daifuku, whatever the hell it is. And all those like later life ones. I don't think there's the original ones.
Yeah, these little PGM cards are awesome. And you can get the motherboard for like 50 or 60 bucks on eBay. And then these conversion cards, you can make them or you can buy them. Uh, people are like selling them now for like, uh, I don't know, 100 bucks. I really want to get a uh, Frick, a B Storm. But I don't want to pay all that money for them. Heck yeah, dude. I've got the, I, I, I back, uh, what's his name, Nolvoid on uh, Patreon, so you can play Dota on Pachi um, without sound, like in the beta, and it plays really well. Um, it's not as, like, crisp, now granted, it's beta, so I'm not criticizing it, it's not as crisp as, like, a Jotego beta, but what he's doing is he took a, like, somebody, I guess somebody did, like, a senior project for college on, like, the software behind Dota on Pachi, so he took all that guy's work and basically is, is putting it on Mr. Which is cool. Like, I think that's awesome. I don't think I can get two things. Death Street Death Smile one and two. Yeah, like they, they did uh Gregas fun. They did um the other one I bought. I bought uh Ketsui, they did, they came out with Death for me. And I, I know they're making more don you know, Dodon Pachi like newer games. Like I I get that. But it just seems like I don't know. I'd love like a like an officially like like a PCB. I don't know. It's gotta be good. Man. Like it'd be a niche product, but like. Oh, I came. Da I pressed down. I'm dumb. That was really really bad. makes you feel like you're doing good and then you're not. Like that. <laughs> King of Air. <laughs> Dude, if Cave licensed it and it played properly, I'd buy a, a Cave King of Air. I had, I used to have one of those. Like, they're cool for what they were. They're like little $50 boards, they're neat. But, uh... I mean, could you imagine, like, if Cave's like, hey, we're gonna make a Mr. Core. It's a hundred bucks per game. Dude, I would buy that tomorrow. I'd buy their whole catalog. Give it every game, please. Like, I'd love to see, like, I know Mr. the whole point is, like, open source and everything, but, like, wouldn't it be cool if developers, like, hey, you know what? We're gonna do this, so we know it's accurate. 
Like, we developed everything. I'd love to see that. Man. At 100% by all the cape force. Cape support. I'm so bad at the backwards stuff, I can't do it, man. Not awkward, so I can't do all the cool rad stuff. Oh no. It's insane, like, they're, they're, I don't know. there's definitely a market for it. I just read, I mean, the last thing I read was they don't want to do it because the chips aren't available anymore. No, I think that's a cop out, but who knows. Like, I understand it from, like, a, an authenticity point of view, like, hey, you know, it's not the same chip, it, you know, people are going to complain it's not running the exact same blah, 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 but, like, I don't know. I just think with FPGA, anything's possible, maybe I'm wrong. How the frick did we get through that? That was a solid line. I have no idea how I got through that. Woo! What's going on? Again, what? Yeah. <laughs> I think it was being nice. Some of those, are, there was 0% chance that I got through and it let me through. Yeah, man, that's what I'm saying. Like, even if even if they just take a DE10 Nano and just say, "Hey, here's a cave box, thousand dollars, all the games FPGA," even if it's emulated, like, dude, if it ran fine, like, even if it ran close enough, and like cave blessed it, dude, I'd buy it. Come on, it'd be amazing. I mean, the only thing I can think is maybe if they they feel like if they do that, people won't rebuy them on every new console that comes out. Like, what was in the um? I never had a chance to, to play or buy one, but that cave collection that came out on 360 that had like that big white box with all the games in it, what was on that? Was it just all of the um, like Moochie Moochie Pork and like all the stuff you could buy individually, or was it like other stuff as well, like Gumpachi and that kind of stuff? I don't know anybody who owned that one. I generally don't know what's on it. Mind a nice, um, I know that we'll get there eventually, but a nice uh, PGM multi would be nice. I know that there's talks of them working on that. This is where the game gets unbeatable. It's 
so hard, so many bullets. I can't scrub my way through it. Graphical glitches for you from the PGM version. See the the outsides. That's not supposed to be like that. I think if you go on the uh, YouTube, you can see what it's supposed to look like. Pretty sure it's a graphical glitch related to the uh, PGM conversion. That crap's hard, man. Not bad. There is room to fit there, that's annoying. Heck yeah, man. Congrats on the uh, new board, man. That's awesome. Pretty sure this is another glitch in the background, or lack thereof. So brutal. I can't even like think. Yeah, these are definitely graphical glitches. You see the, the background they're all missing. Sorry guys, this game gets so hard. I can't like not die. We got pretty far in our nine credits. Deals make the world go round, man. You always gotta get deals. Or you get deals. It's always been my philosophy. If you get a deal, pass it on to the next person, man. Yeah. It keeps it fun, man. Like I you know being the, being an NES collector, it kinda sucks like a lot of the a lot of the fun of NES collecting, especially now because I only need three games. All the fun is pretty much gone, but you know, I have a lot of friends that are that are still 300, 400 games away, and like they don't like giving deals on stuff. They're like, why? Well, you know, it's worth this. It's like, yeah, no, but you paid two dollars for it, dude. Like, if our other friend needs it, charge them five. Don't charge them like freaking retail, man. Oh, God. But I don't know. That's just me. It just part of the fun is like getting something new and cool for for you know 
for a good deal. Oh, we made it to the last freaking chunkly. Oh, that space is tough, dude. Can you even get through that, like, honestly? Or do you have to bomb? I don't like doing that backwards crap, I'm so bad at it. Ugh. This game would have cost me like $87 to beat by now. In the credits I've said. So close. Yeah, any I mean it's not that NES is boring, it's just that, you know, only needing three games, it just sucks, man. Like you don't see any of the games you need. Um You know, and then when you do see them they're like, Oh, the the cheapest game I need is five hundred dollars. Like, no, no. This just got not fun. Like, I've, I've got a buddy, you know, who, who kind of keeps it interesting. He, he does a lot of, like, trades and stuff on, like, Facebook groups. So he'll find stuff that I need. Like, I, I still need, like, there's about 15 unlicensed games I need. The, the three I need to finish this set are for the licensed one. Look at these bullets, man. Yeah, I only need three, man. Yeah, I'm looking at arcade stuff. I'm looking for a Turbo Force. Frick. Um, I'm looking for a couple of Neo Geo carts. Like, I, I have the Mister, and I have most of the carts I want, but I'm always looking for, like, I want a, I want a Mark of the Wolves cart. I want um, a Twinkle Star Sprites cart. Uh, there's a couple I want just for my big red and my goldie to have like real carts in them. Um, like I'm fine with the the dip switch mod and everything, and it and it, it totally is fine and it plays pretty damn good. But uh, it's one of those things where I wouldn't mind having uh, legit. I, I don't know. I like having like, legit stuff too. So. I know you guys know how that is. You're all collectors as well. Dang it. This show is crazy. I want to get a Don Pachi board too. That's like the only cave game I want to try to buy. I don't, I've never owned a cave board, um, but the thing is, like, they, they're just going for too much money too. That's like another thing. It's like they found like a storage unit full of them not too long ago, so you can get them for like four or five hundred bucks. And now it's like people just want too much money for them. Don Pachi is a great game, but it's not. I don't know. It's 
I just don't want to spend that much. I don't know. I, I know I'm cheap, but like, I don't like paying more for boards than I did for calves. It's frustrating. Maybe I'm crazy. But. I do have. Ooh. I do have my a Sigma Super Gun. I'm probably gonna sell or trade. I don't really use it anymore. I built a. Uh, Parsec for streaming and testing stuff, and it's just easier to use that because I can kind of diagnose stuff and without having to have a monitor and all that stuff hooked up and just run it out to uh, HDMI. We almost made it through a pattern. That noise is creepy as frick. Oh my god, I almost made it. Windy City Super Gun. I I heard uh, not so good things about those. Unless they fixed them. I heard they were like using kind of rough components early on. Or maybe I'm thinking of the wrong one. That guy was important blast forever. It's, ugh. This is just brutal. I can't deal with the ones that come up from behind. I cannot deal with that. Like, they're not lined up. You gotta, like, left, right so fast. I guess I just need a purple through them. Great, come on. You see this crazy shit? I guess I was a good deal. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I survived for a lot longer than I expected to. Right, now we're doing diagonals. Okay.
Yeah, I know. I know that guy used to import a bunch of uh, like blasts. Like he was like one of the earlier importers that I that I knew you could actually get cabs from. But I had heard like at least the early super guns I had heard that were they were like weren't power regulated or something, and it was just like chewing at boards. And then, um, now granted, I know how how people can be in this hobby. So again, this is just second second hand knowledge that I heard. I, I didn't have any dealings with the guy, but I heard that he wasn't he was just kind of being on the defense rather than like making it right for people. And like these boards, you know they're. <sighs> They're not cheap. This thing is just not taking damage, dude. Alright, so he heals. He heals when you're purple. Okay. That's cool. Oh, he heals when you... Okay. He heals when you, bla when you blast him, too. Good. Good to know, good to know. What do you do here? I don't understand, what do you do? All right, he's got a regular charge blast, I'm guessing. That's annoying. Why would they make a boss that you can't, like that's stupid. Like, who's that fun for? I guess the trick is to just like purple and not hit him and just absorb. Again, that doesn't seem fun. This jump's annoying. Yeah, I didn't mean anything bad about it. I, I just heard that his early super guns were chewing up stuff, and, and I don't really know what happened with it. Look at our graphical glitches. It only cost us seventy-six dollars, boys, to get through. What do you guys think? Of, I'm gonna say it's ESP Galuda or ESP Galuda. I don't know how to say it, but uh, totally worth doing it. Picking up a, a cart, pretty dang fun. <laughs> okay, so it was it was the G Scart switch that cooked off. Okay, yeah. I, again, man, like it's just something I had read on a forum. I I don't. I've never used one. Um, um that's just what I had heard. But I, I you know, I've I've built. Uh, you know, I'm using a um, a Parsec. It's just an open top like wood one that I built, just for testing stuff. And then I've got a Sigma. I'm throwing a, a, a Orion, I think, but it's got like the two player big metal like candy cab kind of control panel, and it has the JAMA harness on the side, and it's um it does like uh, CPS two and everything. It's a really nice super gun. It does RGB and, and S video out. I just 
with having the calves in the parsec, I, I just don't use it anymore. I picked up a while ago, um, and I used to bring that and like PVMs to shows, but now I just throw an Astro City. I, I take my Astro from the arcade and throw it in the uh, truck and bring that places. What are those worth, dude? I have no idea, man. I have no no idea. Um, I, I'm gonna assume like yeah, the Sigma. I don't know, five hundred bucks, six hundred bucks. I, I have no idea. I traded a while ago. I traded a couple PCBs. Uh, I traded like a UN squadron. Um, I don't know. I have to go back and look what I traded. I, I traded like at the time it was worth about five hundred dollars of PCBs towards it. So I don't. I'm not a hundred percent sure what uh, what they're worth. I have no idea. But mine has like the box. It has like I have the original cardboard box. I have the uh, like the bag with like the cables in it. Like, all OEM, like, Sigma-built cables, not, like, the aftermarket ones. And it's, it's you know, has the instruction manual and all that stuff. And it, it's really nice. I just, again, it's literally sitting up there with a bunch of uh, multi-PCB uh, sitting on top of it. But, uh, yeah, so I think that'll do it. We streamed for about three hours tonight, a little over three hours. And we played, what, four or five games? Played all three Strikers games. Played... Uh, bells and whistles, and we played ESP glue. We played five games, so not too bad, right? It was pretty fun. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do this every Monday. We're getting close to uh, hitting 600. Again, I do appreciate you dudes hanging out. Got my little mini fan here. Um, but yeah, so um. No more LOL. League of Legends? Nah, we're, we're, we're streaming that on Wednesday, dude. Come on. It's funny, dude. Like, when I when I stream retro and arcades, if I gain followers, and then when I stream League, I think the people that followed me from uh, from playing, like, this kind of stuff unfollow when I play League. Because they're like, why am I following a League of Legends streamer? <laughs> it's super funny. Like, I had, like, I had 601 followers for a bit, and then it kind of dipped down from playing League. But it's whatever, man. I just stream games to have fun. It's This isn't a job for me. It's kind of... It, it's always cool to have more followers and, and people watching, but it's, I'd rather, exactly, I, I'd rather have people kind of just chat and hang out, so I, I've got my my league audience, and I've got my retro and arcade audience, so it's, it is what it is, but yeah, I appreciate it, guys, next time what we'll do, um, I'll stream some on the Windy, we'll do some horizontal stuff, um, I know, Lick, I know, man, um, we'll stream some regular horizontal stuff, um, maybe do some Naomi or Neo Geo or something, I, I've got the Mister too, that I, I built, the, um, have I showed that to you guys yet? The little setup I built? I don't even know where it is right now. Oh, it's in the windy. Yeah. Um, has a little, like, it's on like a little piece of wood. It's a little self contained uh, unit that you can plug in and kind of play your games on. Maybe we'll do some, some, uh, horizontal PCB stuff. We've got the, the F3 would be fun. Do some elevator action returns. Uh, if you're here from Paduke and we're actually recording a new episode tomorrow, it's our third episode of Viewer's Choice. I can't spill the beans yet on what game we're talking about, but it's it's a big boy. It's a big, big boy. Um, but we'll be streaming that, and then after that, we're going into our new chunklet, which uh, may or may not include some sports games. Maybe. We're not really sure yet. But uh, Elevator Actions Returns is amazing, dude. Last The last episode we talked about was... The uh, last episode we talked about was uh, Out Foxies. Out Foxies is fun, too. I don't know if you guys have played that. It's... It's like Smash Brothers, but it's like honestly, it feels like like a Smash Brothers game mixed with Elevator Action Returns. Al, Al Anonymous had an out Foxy's. He went up selling it. I I wish I would have known he was selling it. Cause I would have loved to pick that up. That game's really fun, man. Um, you don't really see a lot of them over here. Yeah, they're they're hard to find. Um, that game goes for quite a bit of money now too. It, it's crazy like, how much these how much money these boards are going for. But, hey, guys, uh, I do appreciate it. Thank you guys for hanging out. Again, tomorrow, uh, if you guys are hanging out in chat, uh, give DJ Psycho M1 a follow. He streams on Tuesday nights. He does arcade stuff as well, uh, and he's got some new stuff. Uh, you're looking for a Rampart? Okay. If I find one, I will let you know. Uh, he streams arcade stuff. Lick Arcade also. I, I don't know your schedule, Lick. I apologize. I know he streams uh, pinball as well as console stuff and arcade stuff too. Um, he's got a... Uh, a split fire they both actually do um so yeah give, give those dudes a follow they um they're also streamers and again we always try to help each other out um 
I appreciate you dudes hanging out. If you're here from Paduk and thank you guys for listening. We just hit one year. So a few days ago, we, we hit one year of, of doing Padukan. So 26 episodes. Uh, and we hit just over 30,000 downloads. So really, really appreciate you guys listening and jumping in and asking questions and doing all that cool stuff. Um, but super, super nice to meet some of you dudes and have you jump on and, and, and hang out. Uh, if you guys stream, feel free to let me know. I'm happy to – I always try to follow the other arcade streamers. This way there's always – somebody that you can listen to and, and, you know, hang out with and and meet those people. But absolutely, Lick. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Yeah, yeah, we hit uh, 30,000. 30,000 downloads. Yeah, uh, DJ, you're going to, you're going to love Lick's stream. He's got a really cool, like, I think, I think it's his basement, basement arcade. He's got like three or four pins, a bunch of candies and wood cabs and stuff. He's he's another one of us. So it's always good to kind of interact and mingle and, and, uh, that you guys do that. I'm absolutely happy to shout you guys out. I appreciate you guys retweeting and your Discord and all that stuff too, man. Um, yeah, check him out. He's got good stuff. But I'm gonna I'm gonna head out, guys. It's it's late. I gotta get a game of League of Legends in before I go to bed. Um, but I will hopefully see most of you guys tomorrow on uh, DJ Psycho stream. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, host Awa. He's got like a bunch of people on right now. Um, but I will see you guys tomorrow on DJ Psycho M1's stream. Uh, make sure you save your biddies because you can feed his cat. Uh, I will for sure be tossing some bits Egon's way. It's his little cat. Uh, sweet little cat. Always hangs out with him. But uh, see you guys later. Oh, okay, Dax is still here. Cool. Thanks for hanging out, man. I will see you dudes tomorrow. Thank you guys for hanging out.